So what we're looking at here is a vintage home video camera sold by Sony. This is an HVC 2800. This was a tube type camera. It used a, a pickup tube. This one actually used a Satacon mixed field SMF. This was the top of the line camera that Sony made back in 1982. So this camera is 32 years old now. And it still works. And the picture it turns out is actually probably about as good as it was when it was new. So what we've done is I've just shot a little video here and uh, I've recorded it on my HDV deck. So the video I'm going to show you from these two cameras, this is another one. This one's even older, this is the HVC 2400. It's also a tube type camera that Sony made. This one's a couple years older. It also works, um, the picture is not as good and you'll see it, it's, it's got some problems and like the viewfinders missing off of this one uh, this camera was used in my production facility there as a telecine camera for for many many years um, just for transferring 8 millimeter uh, movies over to videotape back in the early 80s and we didn't need the viewfinder on it it actually had the lens coupled directly into a modified projector so it was only used for for um, uh, recording off of existing films and it actually did a pretty good job it, it required a lot more light but because of that uh, the projector bulb shining into it uh, tended to look a little better than say a camera that had higher sensitivity this was a camera that I used in early production work uh, before I moved on to more professional equipment in its day this camera here was about $3,500 just for the camera and then you had to pack around a recorder to plug this thing into because there was no recorders built in. So there you go, just a little quick video on um, what the old camcorders or what the old video cameras looked like. I've got a few others I'll dig up, show you some of the other stuff. I've got some other professional gear that I used to use when I was in the production business. And I've still got a few pieces of equipment. But... Um, Take a look at the video, the sample video that, show, that, that follows here, and you'll see how these things actually looked. So this is the uh, warm-up phase, and in a couple seconds here, the picture is going to unfold. There it goes. That's where the beam actually comes on to the pickup tube and uh, starts to provide a video image. As you can see, this is the HVC 2800, and it's not very bright out. It's getting dark right now, and it's raining, and this camera actually performs quite well in low light. In the shots that we're going to show you in the next couple of uh, minutes here was done uh, in a more uh, studio type setting with the um, uh, lights on. In this shot we've got a shot of an old neon bar sign and again I haven't turned the studio lights on yet so we're basically just on a couple of fluorescent bulbs. There's a 42 watt uh, compact fluorescent uh, lighting that garage and a couple of a 40 watt uh, linear tubes so there's not a lot of light this would be considered like uh, normal room lighting as you can see and now we'll turn on the studio light to see how much better the picture is do you see much of a difference um, picture should be a little better with the light on this is a 400 watt uh, uh, work light that's in my uh, studio and it really makes my other videos look great okay now we're going to show you the picture from the older uh, this is the HVC 2400 and this one here does have some issues as you can see when I uh, bash the side of the camera the picture is uh, going all haywire there but this is a very old camera this is a 1980 model so this is 34 years old this camera I'm actually surprised that this thing even works I found both of these cameras in a box in my attic that had just been put in storage and um, I plugged them into a power supply not expecting to see anything and they actually work. So this is a bit of uh, home video history. Um, this particular one, these ones never were very good even right when they were new. Uh, there's a lot of lag in the picture, like if you look in the bright spots, uh, there's a lot of blooming and a lot of flaring and that was quite common on the uh, Viticon tube cameras, the single tube Viticon color tube. The Satacon camera, the, the previous one, they addressed that problem 
and the picture was substantially better. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane of old video cameras.